just three weeks before he defends the WWE Championship at Money in the Bank, Matt Riddle is set for a champion versus champion mega main event against one half of the new World Tag Team Champions representing the Judgment Day, Finn Balor. And also coming up tonight, several Money in the Bank qualifiers on hand, kicking us off in moments. The almighty Bobby Lashley looking to bounce back from his loss at Raw Homecoming against the man who came up short at King of the Ring, Seth Rollins. And in the Women's Money in the Bank qualifier, it is going to be the Nightmare Rhea Ripley looking to continue her dominance on Monday Night Raw against the former champion, the goddess Alexa Bliss. One on one later tonight here in Milwaukee on Raw. It's going to be a great night of action. We are three weeks away from our next live premiere event, Money in the Bank, Columbus, Ohio. It's going to be a great evening in just a couple of weeks. But tonight here on Raw, we got a great night of action set as well. And as we mentioned, the Money in the Bank qualifier set to continue to kick us off. Who is going to join Tommaso Ciampa and Braun Breaker in the men's side of the field? Will it be Seth Rollins or will it be Bobby Lashley? The following is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Davenport, Iowa, weighing in at 217 pounds, Seth Well, Seth Rollins has held the contract before he has the chance to do it again. Next time we come your way for a live premiere event, Sunday night, July the 16th, 5 p.m. Eastern time, we're heading to the Nationwide Arena in Columbus, Ohio for the 2023 Money in the Bank. And already two men qualified for the six-man ladder matchup on the men's side of the field. Rolls Tommaso Ciampa, SmackDown's Braun Breaker. We will see the third of six joining them in moments. Seth freaking Rollins came up short in the semifinals at King of the Ring just eight nights ago. Now a chance to bounce back. Another opportunity at hand. One-on-one -on -one with the almighty Bobby Lashley. Well, Bobby Lashley with a opportunity to bounce back as well tonight. The last time we saw the almighty inside of the ring was two weeks ago in Madison Square Garden at a Raw Homecoming. But he went one-on-one -on -one with the now number one contender for the WWE Championship, the harbinger of doom, Karrion Cross. Lashley put up a fight. He survived everything Karrion Cross threw at him, including putting Bobby Lashley through the announce table on that night. But Karrion Cross had to result to some underhanded tactics Stacking up Bobby Lashley, possibly might have had a handful of tights. I was able to steal the victory two weeks ago in MSG. Bobby Lashley not one to hang on his losses. He knows you have to have a short-term memory in this business. Pick yourself up, dust yourself off, and keep moving forward. And what bigger way to kick things off tonight in Milwaukee? Money in the Bank qualifying matchup. Seth freaking Rollins, Bobby Lashley. This is going to be a great matchup between two Monday Night Raw All-Stars as we are underway. And Lashley looking to make quick work of Seth Rollins tonight. He is motivated as all hell after that loss two weeks ago. And I'm sure it stung just a little more Lashley last week when he saw Karrion Cross become the number one contender for Matt Riddle's WWE Championship here on Raw. Now Seth Rollins, same opportunity at hand, same motivation. A fire under the ass of both superstars tonight. When you come so close to opportunity and you let it slip through your fingers one way or another, when another opportunity arises, you're almost more motivated to get the job done, not feel that same defeat again. And that is where Lashley and Rollins find themselves yet again here tonight. And again here this evening on Monday Night Raw, we're going to have ourselves a champion versus champion mega main event. One half of the new World Tag Team Champions, Finn Balor, will take on the WWE Champion himself, Matt Riddle. Should be a great main event. And also coming up in moments, the goddess Alexa Bliss, the Nightmare Rhea Ripley set the lock horns in a women's Money in the Bank qualifying matchup. All that and more coming your way tonight in Milwaukee. As Seth Rollins counters out Bobby Lashley. But Lashley, the powerhouse, look at a steamroll over the visionary tonight. Bobby Lashley, a former WWE Champion, former United States Champion just over the last year and change, 
Lashley's looking to find his way back to the top of the mountain, and it could start in money in the bank in a couple of weeks' time, but not if Rollins knocks his lights out here tonight, but Lashley survives. As we mentioned, Seth Rollins coming up short to Shinsuke Nakamura in the semifinals of the King of the Ring in Philadelphia just eight nights ago. Of course, Shinsuke Nakamura moved on to the finals and fell to the now 2023 King of the Ring winner, Austin Theory. Rollins on the outside. Wait a minute, here comes Lashley. Bobby Lashley looking to send a statement to the Monday Night Raw locker room that he is better than ever, that he's more motivated than ever, and that Lashley will be Mr. Money in the Bank if he has his way come the 16th of July. Over the top rope, taking out Rollins, uncharacteristic out of the playbook of Lashley, but any means necessary to get the job done here tonight in Milwaukee. And Lashley continuing the fight on the outside of the ring. Trying to take Seth Rollins out and secure his spot in the men's Money in the Bank ladder matchup. As we mentioned, Tommaso Ciampa, Braun Breaker, already qualified. Ciampa defeating Sol Sokoa in a bruising matchup last week here on Raw. Sol Sokoa sold him the referee after that matchup. That's not going to do him any good. Braun Breaker defeating Mustafa Ali this past Friday night on SmackDown. Meanwhile, Seth Rollins over the top rope with the crossbody. Anything you can do, I can do better, says the visionary of WWE. Rollins way more familiar taking things to the sky as we saw right there. Lashley's got to regroup. Making his way back into the ring. Rollins on his tail, however. Seth Rollins knows what it's like to be Mr. Money in the Bank, the heist of the century. Eight years ago at WrestleMania, when he cashed in the briefcase and became the WWE Champion. Rollins looking to repeat history in 2023. But he's got to get through Lashley tonight, and then he'll possibly have to get through five other opponents if he can make it to the 16th of July. If Bobby Lashley has his way, Rollins is going to be dead in his tracks tonight. There's a neck breaker by Seth Rollins taking the almighty off his feet. Lashley's got to get back into this as Rollins is starting to build some offense here, build some momentum in this Money in the Bank qualifying matchup. Lashley does not want to find himself fighting from behind against someone as skilled inside of the squared circle as the visionary Seth freaking Rollins. Off the leg drop here. Now Rollins heading to the middle buckle as Lashley's just trying to get his wits about him. Here comes Rollins with the blockbuster. Even Seth Rollins pulling out some unfamiliar maneuvers tonight. At least some maneuvers that we haven't seen in quite some time out of Seth Rollins. Seth Rollins felt defeat just eight nights ago in Philadelphia. Remember what was on the line? Oh, wait a minute. Rollins into the pinfall here. Lashley gets the shoulder up. Remember what was on the line? Not just the crown of the King of the Ring, but a spot to fight for your brand's world championship at SummerSlam. That right goes to Austin Theory from SmackDown. Rollins was that close to securing a WWE Championship match. Rollins not looking to feel defeat again, but who is going to get the three count or possibly the submission in this Money in the Bank qualifier? As Lashley now. Nice counter on Rollins. Rollins been in control the last number of minutes. Lashley trying to get back into this fight as he's using the power to his advantage right now. Rollins way up in the air. The strength from the Almighty and crashing down goes the Visionary. Bobby Lashley trying to mount some offense. Get back into this Money in the Bank qualifier. Rollins down and out right now. And now Bobby Lashley, oh wait a minute. Ragdoll on the opponent, and down goes Seth. Face first on the canvas. Domination out of Lashley. Oh, but a counter by Rollins. Might have been a misstep as Lashley didn't go for the pinfall. Rollins, pedigree. Game, set, match point into the cover. No, he almost had him. He almost had him. Lashley getting the shoulder up and smart by Lashley to roll to the outside to try to catch a breather. But Seth Rollins, his wheels are spinning. And Lashley, dazed and confused, here comes Rollins. Things are picking up in your opening bout in Milwaukee, Wisconsin tonight. Lashley not able to capitalize, excuse me, on a downed opponent. Rollins with the pedigree. And now the fight has been taken to the outside as this men's Money in the Bank qualifying matchup continues. A great effort by both men tonight. 
But only one can advance. And there's Rollins off the apron with the knee. Gotta wonder the condition of both of these men coming in. Lashley's had two weeks since his last battle, which is a bruising one against Karrion Cross. Seth Rollins, eight nights ago, a hard fought match against Shinsuke Nakamura. Have these two men had enough time to rest and recuperate after those physical affairs? Lashley trying to get back into this matchup. Powerhouse maneuvers, sends Seth Rollins off his feet. Lashley was close to being defeated. Does not want to find himself in that predicament again. Wait a minute. Rollins sending Lashley to the outside again. I think Seth's wheels continue to roll on and on and on. Could be looking to take things to the sky for a third consecutive time in this matchup. Tope suicide to the outside. Rollins is rolling right now. Milwaukee coming unglued for the visionary and the almighty. And Lashley is hurt. He is down on the outside. After that dive by Rollins, can Lashley get back into this match? Rollins may be satisfied with a count out victory right now. Lashley's on his feet, trying to regroup, making his way back inside the squared circle, but is momentum on the side of Rollins. Lashley into the corner. Oh no, Lashley on the top rope. Rollins very comfortable in this predicament. Frankensteiner sends Lashley halfway across the ring, and Seth looking to follow it up as he heads to the top. Oh, wait a minute. Changing his plans here. Looks like Seth Rollins not looking to risk a high-risk maneuver that may not pay off, and you can't blame Seth Rollins. After coming up short in King of the Ring, Rollins does not want to see a misstep cost him another opportunity tonight. Back inside the ring and keeps it simple, yet effective with the forearm to the back of the skull, and now heads to the top. And drops the elbow, more comfortable coming off the sky that time. And he nails that elbow right to the spine. And Lashley still survives. Seth Rollins is starting to rack his brain a little bit. What does he got to do to keep the almighty down? He's sure he saw what happened two weeks ago. Bobby Lashley kicking out of everything Karrion Cross had to offer. Cross barely survived Lashley in Madison Square Garden. Oh, now Rollins. Rolling up Lashley a little close to the ropes there. That may be what Seth is going to have to resort to to keep down the almighty tonight. Lashley off the misstep. Now in, the, in control of the matchup. And Rollins going for an amusement park ride. Bobby Lashley's opportunity to bounce back in this opening contest tonight. But will he be able to? He's taking a lot of offense from Rollins. And although Lashley is starting to get the upper hand, although the adrenaline is feeding the almighty right now, is it going to be enough to power through Seth Rollins and secure his spot and money in the bank? Lashley already dangerous as all hell inside of that ring alone. Imagine you had some ladders in the play. If Lashley makes his way to Money in the Bank, I don't know who the hell is going to stop him. Lashley trying to get back into this matchup. And you see he's not rushing for a pinfall at the moment. Just trying to beat down Seth Rollins. As he knows he is fighting from underneath. Wait a minute, another counter. And Seth's going for a second pedigree. And I do not like Lashley's chances at the current moment. Rollins not going for the cover just yet. He wants to go for the kill. Rollins, the stop on Lashley. And you might be able to count to 20 on that pinfall. No, Lashley gets the shoulder up. Rollins can't believe it. A second pedigree. The curb stomp. But the almighty's heart is still pumping. This audience coming unglued. Rollins on the top and delivers the crossbody. Rollins may be in control, but Lashley is still fighting. But is Bobby Lashley just delaying the inevitable right now? Is he surviving off instinct? Does he have anything left in the tank? Rollins putting the almighty on the top rope. And I do not like Lashley's chances if Rollins hits this maneuver. Superplex, gonna do the deed. Falcon arrow combination. Lashley is down. Rollins, once again, stalking his prey. A second stomp. 
And that has got to do it. Lashley is down. Rollins into the cover to secure a spot and money in the bank. Somehow, Lashley is still alive. You have got to be kidding me. Milwaukee is loving this athletic competition between Rollins and Lashley, but I don't think Seth Rollins can believe what his eyes are seeing right now. Two pedigrees, two stomps, superplex, falcon arrow, all the dives to the outside, and the almighty is operating on a higher level than Rollins anticipated. If Lashley can survive all that, I don't think there's anything that Rollins can throw at Bobby Lashley that is going to keep him down for a three count. Lashley now into a cover. How much is left in the tank? It cannot be much. Rollins gets the shoulder up. If Lashley's going to win this matchup, he's going to have to use ener any energy left and strike while the iron's hot. Before Seth Rollins gets back in and a swing blade on the outside. And you see the hurry up by Seth to get back in the ring and possibly go for the count out. He recognizes that Lashley will not stay down tonight and Rollins is going to have to resort to any and all measures to try to get his hand raised. But Lashley is still moving. The feet still shuffling. Rollins on his tail. A shot to the back. Wait a minute, Rollins stacking up Lashley trying to get the pinfall here. Will he secure it? Oh, you got to be kidding me. After all of that, after Lashley fought back from everything Rollins had, Seth Rollins taking a page out of Karrion Cross's book two weeks ago, stacking up Lashley, and in my eyes, surviving the Almighty. Well, at the end of the day, Lashley's gonna be furious, but there's nothing to be ashamed of in defeat. But the opportunity goes to the wayside for the Almighty. And if this isn't a similar scene from two weeks ago, Lashley upset at the loss and you can't blame him. But at the end of the day, only one man could move on to Money in the Bank, and that man will be the visionary. He joins Tommaso Ciampa and Braun Breaker. Three more spots still to be filled in the 2023 men's Money in the Bank. Do you want access to a bonus Universe Mode episode every single month? Well, now you have the chance. Click the join button down below and become a NOAA Nation Gaming channel member. Not only will you receive one bonus Universe Mode episode every single month, but you'll receive access to exclusive badges, emojis, discounted merchandise, and more. Become a Premium Pass channel member today and don't miss out on these exclusive perks. Well, we are back live on Monday Night Raw in Milwaukee, and it is time for your women's Money in the Bank qualifying matchup for this evening. And I'm sure Alexa Bliss would love a hometown reception in Columbus, Ohio. Will she join Mia Yim, Becky Lynch, Io Sky, and Raquel Rodriguez? Four women already solidifying their spots in the six-woman Money in the Bank ladder matchup on the 16th of July. But who will grab the final Monday Night Raw spot in that matchup? Will it be the goddess Alexa Bliss? Or will it be the Judgment Day's nightmare, Rhea Ripley? Rhea's been dominating the red brand. Will that domination continue right here tonight? And representing the Judgment Day from Adelaide, Australia, Rhea. Well, it was two weeks ago in Madison Square Garden at Raw Homecoming where Rhea Ripley stood side by side with the woman who is now the WWE Women's Champion, the Queen of Spades, Shayna Baszler. And those two women taking down the former champion, Liv Morgan, as well as the goddess Alexa Bliss. That was two weeks ago here on Raw. Momentum is certainly on the side of the nightmare coming into this matchup. You can't count out Alexa Bliss. Multiple times, she has held Women's Championship gold. She is certainly a formidable challenger for Rhea Ripley here tonight. Alexa, a former Money in the Bank contract holder as well. And as we mentioned, I'm sure Alexa wants nothing more than to go home to Ohio, have a homecoming at Money in the Bank, and the chance to pull down the briefcase and an opportunity to have another championship 
opportunity in her future. Has really been the word of the night. Opportunity at stake. But here we go. The final Monday Night Raw spot in the Women's Money in the Bank ladder match is on the line. Alexa Bliss, Rhea Ripley, one-on-one -on -one here in Milwaukee. Of course, this Friday night on SmackDown, two women who have a lot of history with each other, both on the same side of the ring and opposing Bianca Blair and Shotzi. Former tag team champions, former rivals this time last year. Set to go one-on-one, -on -one, reigniting that story this Friday night with the final spot in the Women's Money in the Bank ladder match on the line. As we saw moments ago, Mi Chin, Mia Yim, Becky Lynch from Raw qualifying last week. This, fr this past Friday night on SmackDown, EO Sky and Raquel Rodriguez securing their spots in Columbus as well. But who is going to join them? Rhea Ripley has been on a dominating tear here on Raw. Remember just over a month ago, defeated Natalia up in the north in Natalia's home state, or home country, excuse me, in a Canadian street fight. Rhea's been on the tear, trying to get her spot at the Women's Championship. Become a number one contender. The Money in the Bank may be the opportunity that the Nightmare has been searching for. And obviously, the favorite in this matchup is the Judgment Day zone, but Alexa Bliss fighting from underneath right now. She knows the momentum is on the side of Ripley. She's got to build some of her own in this matchup. Split the difference, double arm drags, just trying to frustrate Rhea, and a nice drop kick takes her off her feet. Don't count out the goddess of WWE. As we mentioned, former multiple time women's champion is Alexa Bliss. She has been in those big match situations at WrestleMania, at SummerSlam. She has held the Money in the Bank briefcase before and cashed it in successfully. Will she do it again this year? Got Rhea down right now, now bringing her to her feet and dropping her with a hard shot. Alexa Bliss throwing everything she's got into that forearm. And she knows that's what exactly what she's got to do to keep Rhea Ripley down tonight and make her way to Money in the Bank. Alexa's got all the tools to be a champion yet again. It could possibly be the favorite in Columbus, Ohio, not only with the hometown advantage, but being a woman that has won the matchup before. She's just got to survive Rhea Ripley tonight. It's like gets taken to the outside. And I don't really like Alexa Bliss's chances. I wouldn't have followed the nightmare out there if it were me. But Rhea now with Alexa high in the sky and on the outside of the ring, this is only going to add damage to an already painful maneuver. Down goes Alexa. Rhea Ripley dragging her carcass and bringing her back inside the squared circle. And the Nightmare may be moments away from securing her spot in Money in the Bank. Stiff boot right to the side of the dome. And Rhea Ripley, don't take your eyes off Alexa. Nice monkey flip there. Since the Nightmare halfway across the ring. Great agility by Alexa Bless. But the power on the side of Rhea Ripley as she shows right there. Able to muscle away from Alexa. And I'm dropping her with a DDT. Very similar to Alexa's own DDT. Rhea trying to beat her with a very similar maneuver, but Alexa's knows how to get out of that maneuver. The damage may be done. One can only withstand the warpath of Rhea for so long from bell to bell. And the most dangerous woman in WWE, former NXT Women's Champion, former NXT UK Women's Champion, Rhea's held gold in the past. She wants to do it again. It could start at Money in the Bank. And Alexa running through the nightmare. That's just some great strength out of Rhea, or excuse me, out of Bliss, but only for so long as Rhea just tackles her down. Now, wait a minute. The nightmare could be looking to eradicate Alexa Bliss and her chances at Money in the Bank. Good night, goddess. Well, we now have your fifth. Superstar joining the Women's Money in the Bank ladder matchup on the 16th of July. And that will be the nightmare of the Judgment Day. Here is your winner, Rhea Ripley. Well, all the other women in the Money in the Bank ladder matchup and their daydream of taking down the briefcase is about to become a nightmare as the Judgment Day's Rhea Ripley takes the fifth spot of six. So who will join these five women this Friday night on SmackDown? Will it be Bianca Blair or will it be Shotzi? But right now, that is one impressive field thus far.
the action continues tonight on Raw as a tag team matchup is set between Roxanne Perez and Cora Jade taking on Tamina and Sonya Deville. Also taking place tonight, the big strong boy, Tyler Bate, back in action. Came up short at WWE Live nine nights ago. He goes one-on-one -on -one against the Drifter Elias. The results of those contests see Roxanne Perez and Cora Jade picking up the victory. They could be in the hunt for the WWE Women's Tag Team Champions, Katana Chance and Caden Carter. Will they be future challengers? All remains to be seen. And as for Tyler Bate and Elias, the big strong boy, getting his hand raised, out muscling Elias here in Milwaukee and walking away with the victory on Monday Night Raw. Well, before we get to our mega champion versus champion main event, the defiant loudmouth LA Knight is in Milwaukee. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Hagerstown, Maryland. Weighing in at 230 pounds, LA Knight. We want to take you back to seven nights ago on Raw. Ilya Dragunov successfully defending his Intercontinental Championship against the Bruiserweight Butch. But the story here comes after the bell as LA Knight hit the squared circle and sending a statement to the Invincible One that he wants a shot at the Intercontinental Championship. LA Knight certainly making some noise last week, not with his mouth, but with his actions. And Ilya Dragunov has been a reigning, defending, taking on any and all comers Intercontinental Champion. And if he wanted the attention of LA Knight, well, LA Knight certainly got his wish. The fine LA Knight coming for the Intercontinental Championship, and he's got to start picking up some Ws if he wants to earn that opportunity. But that could start tonight against Mr. Monday Night. And his opponent from Battle Creek, Michigan, weighing in at 235 pounds, Rob. Mr. Monday Night RVD back in action. And it was just nine nights ago at WWE Live in Manhattan, New York. For channel members only, Rob Van Dam went one-on-one -on -one with the street champ Solo Sokoa in an Extreme Rules matchup. And my God, did things get unhinged and off the chain in that match. Solo Sokoa making a statement in RVD's backyard of New York City, sending him through a flaming table. The table is in flames, and RVD's flesh meant that hot flame in the middle of that squared circle. Well, luckily, Rob Van Dam recovering fast and hopefully not suffering any serious injuries. He's back in action tonight, and he's looking to bounce back when it comes to getting the victory. He's got his hands full with LA Knight. Should be a great athletic matchup here on Monday Night Raw. LA Knight looking to build some momentum for himself. Last time we saw him in action, he went one-on-one -on -one with Shinsuke Nakamura. This is dating back a couple of weeks ago in the first round of the King of the Ring tournament. Nakamura went on all the way to the finals in Philadelphia eight nights ago. Did not work out for the King of Strong Style. We're talking about LA Knight, things didn't work out for him in the King of the Ring. And now LA Knight trying to set his sights on the Intercontinental Championship. And as we talk about all the time here on Monday Night Raw, Possibly Friday Night SmackDown. It's all about getting your hand raised. You want the opportunities. You want the main event. You want the championship shots. You got to get the W inside of the ring. And that's what LA Knight needs to start doing here tonight in Milwaukee. On the flip side of things, RVD splitting the difference in matches with Solo Sako over the last number of weeks. We a Raw homecoming. RVD accepting the open challenge of Solo. Getting the victory that night in MSG. And then as we already mentioned, Solo defeating RVD in the Extreme Rules matchup. Nine nights ago in New York City. RVD trying to bounce back from that loss, trying to continue to build momentum here on Monday Night Raw. And hell, RVD could even set his sights on the Intercontinental Championship if he do so pleases. Rob Van Dam, former Intercontinental Champion, multiple times as well. And as Ilya Dragunov has continued to turn away any and all challengers, he's going to be looking for somebody new to step up and try to take him down as the Intercontinental Champion. Could very well be Mr. Monday Night himself. Off the moonsault into the cover on the Defiant Knight. Almost had him there. Rob Van Dam. Ever since returning to WWE last August, has found himself in championship opportunities. He's been unsuccessful 
or maybe a building momentum towards the Intercontinental Championship will be the goal that RVD finally searches for and secures. Beautiful maneuver there, taking down LA Knight. Now Van Dam going for the outside, going for the cross body. Wasn't able to get all the way up as LA Knight on his way back into the ring, shaking the ropes and taking RVD's balance off his game. That misstep is why they call it high risk, high reward. And LA Knight looking to pick the bones of the Hall of Famer as down he goes with the neck breaker. That misstep may have costed RVD. Trying to go to the sky, LA Knight. Just as simple as shaking the ropes is able to shake RVD's momentum. I'm sure Ilya Dragunov has got his eyes on this matchup. I'm sure Dragunov almost respects LA Knight's assault last week. Dragunov is a man of fight. He is a man of taking things in the ring and handling your differences from bell to bell. LA Knight wants to fight. Hell, I'm sure all he had to do was ask. I'm sure Ilya Dragunov is not going to forget that attack anytime soon. On the flip side, LA Knight may be the one who ambushed Ilya Dragunov last week, but there is a locker room full of superstars waiting for their opportunity. As we already said, it's kind of been the word of the night. Opportunity here on Monday Night Raw. RVD looking to take the most advantage of his right now as LA Knight's off his feet. Rolling Thunder! And that may be all she wrote. Into the cover. Got the two count, but LA Knight survives. Knight fell short in his first round King of the Ring matchup, as we mentioned the last time we saw him inside the squared circle, not trying to chase defeat yet again here tonight. Avoiding whatever RVD had in mind. Now LA Knight may just be getting warmed up here. Anyway, thank you for joining us on Monday Night Raw. We are live tonight in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Just three weeks away from the Money in the Bank live premiere event. This will be live Sunday night, July the 16th at 5 p.m. Eastern time. Nowhere else but right here on the No Nation Gaming YouTube channel. Be sure to hit subscribe down below. Turn on those notifications so you don't miss any of the action in the lead up to the Money in the Bank event or the live premiere event itself. RVD over the top rope that time. Throwing caution in the wind. And that time, it works to Mr. Monday Night's favor. LA Knight was trying to take his time, was trying to pick apart the Hall of Famer, and RVD saw an opportunity to strike, sent his own body over the top rope, and took out Knight. Well, what Van Dam's got in mind, heading back inside the ring, think trying to rest to recuperate and regroup a new game plan here against LA Knight. It's in the middle of the ropes, and a nice kick by Van Dam. Classic out of the arsenal of the whole damn show. Into the cover, and LA Knight kicks out again. Night it's been here on Raw already. Seth Rollins surviving Bobby Lashley, securing his spot in the Money in the Bank ladder matchup on the 16th of July. And Rhea Ripley joining Meet Shin, Mia Yim, Becky Lynch, Io Sky, and Raquel Rodriguez. Five of six spots in the women's Money in the Bank ladder matchup have been determined. And as for LA Knight, he's trying to determine himself a victory here, but RVD is still fighting back and forth the majority of this matchup between Knight and Van Dam has been, but RVD, that's a knockout blow any day of the week, twice on Monday, but Van Dam still got life left in him. LA Knight thought he had it there, head first off the canvas, went RVD, but the whole damn show, not looking to taste defeat, two matches in a row. But Knight is keeping his foot on the gas pedal. And RVD may be seeing stars right now into the cover. And that will do it. L.A. Knight waltzing in to Milwaukee, Wisconsin tonight with a purpose. And he secures a much needed victory, if I say so myself, over Mr. Monday Night, Rob Van Dam. Great back and forth matchup, but there could only be one winner. And you have your answer right there before you. Here is your winner, L.A. Knight. L.A. Knight, victorious here tonight in Milwaukee. What? Well, ladies and gentlemen, I'm getting some breaking news right now. We're, we're going to hit the graphic in a moment. This is coming up next week on Raw on the eve of 4th of July. It is going to be an Independence Day Battle Royal for the number one contendership 
for the Intercontinental Championship. Knight, Butch, Bait, Apollo Crews, Cedric, the returning Braun Strowman, Sol Sokoa, Sami Zayn, all inside the same ring next week on Raw. My goodness, and another matchup signed for the July 3rd edition of Monday Night Raw next week. Kevin Owens back in action against Shinsuke Nakamura and a Money in the Bank qualifying matchup. What a night it's going to be. Just seven nights from this evening on Raw. Ladies and gentlemen, we want to take you back to just eight nights ago at the Wells Fargo Center in Philadelphia at King of the Ring. Liv Morgan defending the WWE Women's Championship against the Queen of Spades, Shayna Baszler from SmackDown. And Liv Morgan was really fighting from underneath in this matchup. Was finally starting to gain some momentum, but a costly misstep as you saw right there, allowing Shayna Baszler to capitalize. And for the second time in a week, first at Raw Homecoming, then at King of the Ring, Liv Morgan tapping out to the Carafuda Clutch, and Shayna Baszler securing not only the victory, but becoming the new WWE Women's Champion of the World. A title she has already retained this past Friday night on SmackDown against the returning Candice LeRae. But the former champion Liv Morgan taking to Twitter earlier today and she had this to say, at King of the Ring, I let myself down and I let my fans down, but I will not stay down for long. Shayna, I will see you for one more round in Ohio at Money in the Bank. Liv Morgan invoking the rematch. She wants one more time secure a victory over Shayna Baszler. And the rematch is officially signed for the 16th of July. Running it back from the King of the Ring. Liv is tapped twice. Will she tap a third time? Or has she figured out the secret ingredient to defeat Baszler? And also signed for Money in the Bank. Karrion Cross, the new number one contender as he defeated John Cena seven nights ago. He will take on the original bro, Matt Riddle, coming up next month at Money in the Bank for the WWE Championship. But it is main event time here in Milwaukee on Monday Night Raw. It is a mega main event. It is champion versus champion. The Judgment Day defeating Mustafa Ali and Ricochet eight nights ago with the King of the Ring to become the new World Tag Team Champions. But tonight, Finn Balor going it alone from bell to bell against Matt Riddle. The following champion versus champion contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, accompanied by Damian Priest, representing the Judgment Day from Bray County, Wicklow, Ireland, Weighing in at 190 pounds, one half of the World Tag Team Champions, Finn Balor! Ever since Finn Balor and Damian Priest and Rhea Ripley for that matter, have come together on Monday Night Raw to form the Judgment Day, my goodness have they taken the red brand by storm. Oh, you saw earlier tonight Rhea Ripley securing her spot in Money in the Bank, and these two men Gaining some new hardware eight nights ago in Philadelphia, taking down the highly talked about Mustafa Ali and Ricochet duo to become the new WWE World Tag Team Champions. Bauer and Priest, a formidable duo, proving that once and for all a king of the ring. But tonight it's not about the team. Tonight is not about Damian Priest. Tonight is about the Prince Finn Balor and a champion versus champion Mega Man event attraction if I've ever seen one against the WWE Champion, the face of Monday Night, the original bro, the stallion himself, Matt Riddle. Hot off the heels of a victory against Kevin Owens at King of the Ring, Matt Riddle's back in action tonight, live on Monday Night Raw. And his opponent from Las Vegas, Nevada, Weighing in at 216 pounds, the WWE Champion, the original bro, Matt Riddle. Well, Matt Riddle has certainly been to hell and back in his WWE Championship reign. Kevin Owens was the latest chapter in Matt Riddle's story eight nights ago in Philadelphia. A recurring thorn in the side was the KO and Sami show, but after Sami Zayn was barred from ringside and Kevin Owens went it alone against Riddle, Matt Riddle able to secure the victory and walk away, still your WWE Champion.
And already Matt Riddle's next date defending the championship is signed as you just saw moments ago. Karrion Cross awaits a meeting with the original bro. And as our main event kicks off, Finn Balor not looking to waste any time. The swing blade and going for the quick pinfall. Champion versus champion, two of Monday Night Raw's best. We started the night with two of Raw's all-stars. We're ending the, ending the night with the same. Matt Riddle taking over Finn Balor. My goodness, what a war it was with the prize fighter eight nights ago. The replay available right now if you missed out on King of the Ring. Riddle successfully defending his WWE Championship for the fourth time since winning it back at WrestleMania. Of course, the first championship defense was against Sami Zayn on the first roll of the season. And he defeated Randy Orton inside Hell in the Cell at Backlash. Was able to power through the Beast Incarnate, Brock Lesnar, last month at Vengeance. And of course, the victory over Kevin Owens. But will Matt Riddle's time run out? Will it be doomsday for the original bro on the 16th of July when he goes one-on-one -on -one with the harbinger of doom carrying cross? Right now, Finn Balor don't give a damn about Matt Riddle's list of accolades, list of superstars he has put down, or what's next on the horizon for the WWE Champion. Balor's looking to keep the Judgment Day's momentum going in this main event matchup. Balor and Priest pushing Ricochet and Mustafa Ali to their absolute limits eight nights ago. And Balor and Priest proving that as of this moment, they are the best team that either Raw or SmackDown has to offer for those WWE World Tag Team titles. Balor and Priest bringing the gold back to the red brand. And I'm sure every team from Raw and SmackDown has been keeping their eye on the Judgment Day, looking for their opportunity to challenge for the duo's gold. Balor looking to be going for the swing blade there. Riddle's able to avoid it. Now the Stallion starting to build some momentum. Nice Pele to the Prince Finn Balor. Another counter by the Prince. Balor not trying to allow Riddle to get back into this matchup and build momentum forward over DDT. And the WWE Champion has been taken off his feet. This Champion versus Champion matchup. Of course, momentum always riding on the line, but got to believe here, Finn Balor can upset Matt Riddle. Pinning the WWE Champion, well, that's got to put Finn Balor in the talk for a future WWE Championship match, whether that be before or after the Money in the Bank live premiere event. So, a little bit more riding on the line for the Judgment Day, if I say so myself. Matt Riddle not looking to back down from any fight. This matchup assigned to him, and he was certainly going to take the challenge. Right now, Balor is taking the fight to Matt Riddle. Riddle with no answer for the Prince's offense. Now trying to build some beautiful springboard drop kick. Down goes Balor. Taking his eye off the ball for the split second may have cost him. And now the strikes from who else but Matt Riddle. Snap German into the bridge. Executed to perfection by the WWE Champion, but Finn Balor able to kick out and survive. But for how much longer? These two men have had their foot on the gas pedal since that bell, ran bell sounded, excuse me. This has been a fight since the opening Opening get-go. Little grounded and pounded on Balor. Stiff shot. Look at these kicks unloading on Balor. And a spine buster. And down goes one half of the champions. And wait a minute here. This is where the numbers game of the Judgment Day has certainly helped them in victory in the past. Damian Priest trying to take Riddle's eye off the ball. Not working out completely as Balor now goes behind. Tries to take out Riddle. A reversal by the champion. Oh, wait a minute. Riddle's going behind. I think we know what comes next. A submission hold that has secured him victory after victory in months past. Balor finds himself dead center of the ring, all alone with no one to save him. And Finn Balor trying. Is he going to tap? No. Trying to fight out of it, and he does. Balor able to avoid one of Riddle's best submission holds here. Wait a minute. Damian Priest was on the apron. I believe he was trying to take the... Wait a minute, uh, wait a minute, so much action to call here. Referee's back was turned, but nonetheless, Matt Riddle with the bro Derek. And he got him. Catching Finn Balor off guard just long enough to keep him down with the bro Derek. The referee's back was turned, caught Damian Priest red-handed, trying to take his the turnbuckle off and expose it for Balor's advantage, but Matt Riddle able to find a way to defeat the Prince here tonight. Wait a minute. Losing power. Wait a minute. 
Loose pa Oh, wait a minute. Karrion Cross is, is in the ring. Lights out. Lights on. Matt Riddle has met his doomsday. Show slam. And an emphatic message sent by the Harbinger of Doom. Is the WWE Champion's Doomsday coming on the 16th of July at Money in the Bank? When I chase like that, yeah, I play so strong with a knife in the back. I'm a swing home run like a baseball bat. Gonna see me rise. You can hate on that. I don't play both sides. Don't need no cap. I'm a rock.